Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Betsy. I am so glad that you're here. On today's video, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do on this channel, and I think maybe I have done it maybe once or twice, maybe early on when I started my channel, but I'm going to do a DIY today. So um, I had come across a video that really inspired me, and it was someone who had found like vases and vessels and pieces like that at thrift stores, but they repurposed them to look like aged stone. Um, and they're sort of dupes for Restoration Hardware, West Elm, Pottery Barn, places like that. And, you know, and things like that from those stores, you know, can be sort of pricey. So, you know, I, I thought it was cool to try to recreate some of those on a budget. So that's what today's video is going to be about. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, then stick around. Um, I did buy four different pieces and I really love the shape of them. That's really kind of what I look for when, you know, when I look for, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I found four and um, I did two different techniques and I will sort of explain, you know, throughout the video, you know, what, I, what I've done. So uh, with the two different techniques, I did two with one technique and two with the other technique. And I'm so happy with how they turned out. So I can't wait to share this with you guys. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna jump right in and get started. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours Technique that I'm going to do on the first two is using this dry dex spackling. It's really, really great because you put it on, it goes on pink, and then once it's dry, it's completely white. So for the first two, I am going to use this product. And I did buy this at Walmart, and this particular size was only $6.98. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody like you.
the paints that I purchased. I got some at Michael's and I got some at Walmart and some I did already have on hand. So I thought I would go ahead and try to use some of those as well. pieces I'm going to do a different technique I am going to just take my paint um, put it in a bowl I'm going to add some baking soda and I'm going to add probably equal amounts and go ahead and mix that up and that will help to create a nice texture for these vessels as well
from all this I know there's a bright day for you Tell me what are you saying, what game are we playing I want us to be for real now, real now Oh, oh, oh Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet that I have. I really enjoyed doing this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got some inspiration out of it. I, like I said, I had watched a couple of videos and, and saw, you know, some of these techniques, you know, that, that they had done. So I was just excited to try it myself. So I had a blast doing it and it's just so relaxing. And all these pieces were under $10. Most of them were under $5. So, you know, and the paints, they don't cost much either. Um, you know, some of those paints you can get for, you know, 50 some cents at Walmart. So, um, 
yeah so it's just a fun fun project to do so I really love how they turned out and I love both techniques I think the baking soda with the paint technique is a little bit easier and of course it dries faster than using the spackling but I love the look of both of them the one with the spackling I just I absolutely love that look so I love both of them so anyway that is all I have for today it was kind of fun to do something different you know something that I don't normally do like I said I, I've done um, I've done a couple of crafts a couple of DIYs on my channel but I'm pretty sure it's been a couple of years so pretty early on in my channel so it was nice to just do something different so I'm, I'm probably gonna try to find some more pieces and do some more um, it's just it's just very relaxing and it's fun to you know be creative and do something you know for my home I you know I love decorating and those of you that have been with me for a while know that that's one of my biggest passions. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will leave it there and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Goodbye, guys. Give the reasons to doubt. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones Go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul You can't get to me And there is no